This is the heart spring tool, and it's a tool used to adjust the butterfly spring tension on a grand weapon. Uh, features of this tool is stainless steel, and it's got a rubberized handle on here, but the uh, real feature is the recess around the end. This tool was designed decades ago by Glenn Hart, one of the any tools he's invented over the years. And there have been other tools made for this uh, operation, but many of them uh, have a little fork on the end where you grab the, the spring, and the tendency is it's a little easier to kink the spring. With this tool, you can't kink the spring, and it's also very easy to find it. So the first little demo I'm just showing you going through where you can't really see where a spring is, if you imagine other weapons in here. You drop this in just underneath the, the, the rep lever, and once you're underneath there, you can quickly feel the spring. There's the spring right there. So I can manipulate that any way I want um, and, and not have to look and not be concerned about grabbing it and, and possibly kinking or bending it. Here's a better little close-up of that. So again, you're coming in underneath, and again, if you look at the profile on the tool, it's very thin on this profile, so it lets you go very close to the side here. And there, I can push the, the spring out of the notch underneath. And if you're going to, if you've got a weak spring, you're trying to open it up, you're going to be pulling the spring back, opening up the coil. And then when you're done, again, it's very easy to grab that and drop it back in. Once it's in, uh, you uh, hit the key and check the hammer, and if it's too fast to rise off the back check, you're going to need to take it down. And that's where this tool is very easy to just massage the length of the spring like this. You can also obviously be using it also on the lower spring, going also, if you have a real, real strong spring, you could be lowering it here, reducing the tension here, reducing it here. Also, if it's, if it's something that's, uh, you know, really strong, uh, a new spring, you may have to pull it out and, and actually just try to, I'll bring it on this side, try to push it down like this along the side of a button to really pinch that or... Uh, pinch that coil. Um, again, this makes it easy to work in the tight quarters, to grab, uh, quickly find the, uh, find the spring, pull it out, do your manipulation, bring it back in. Um, and once you've found the spring, unlike a lot of tools, when you pull the tool away from the, the spring or in, it doesn't come off the tool. Once, you're, once the tool's on the spring, it'll stay there to manipulate.